gateways on Amazon. This is like Amazon's little ATM machine. Uh, they, they cost a fortune. They convince you to deploy lots of them and they just print money for Amazon. And most people yep. never have the scale that requires using a NAT uh, gateway uh, for performance. So uh, you want to use that. So you, you see your bill and you're spending $600 a month on all these NAT instances or $1,000 a month. It's like, Jesus, how do we get rid of it? So the first thing is that, oh, we're just going to reduce the number of them. The problem is that for if you want to be operating with high availability, you're going to want at least every availability zone to have a NAT gateway and, or a NAT instance. But and then you think, well, we only really need two. And then now you're going to complicate this architecture. It's not going to be symmetrical. It's not going to be rubber stamped. And uh, so what we always prescribe at Cloud Posse is uh, build the architecture that makes the most logical sense and then figure out other ways to, to reduce costs uh, around that. So as it relates to this, um, you know, the first optimization is like in your dev environments, roll out your NAT instances instead. And if you're using our Cloud Posse Terraform modules, we have a feature flag. You can specify if you want NAT instances or NAT gateways. NAT instances are pennies on the dollar by comparison. You can pick the instance size. Keep in mind that the instance size depends, uh, limits the throughput that you get. And if that's where all your traffic is uh, 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 proxying through, uh, that gateway, well, if you're choosing a T, T1 micro or something, you're going to be limited uh, at whatever that throughput is. The other thing is that you, in your dev environment, just reduce the number of availability zones. Uh, and like, if you, like one of the arguments was, well, we, we can just uh, deploy one NAT uh, gateway or one NAT instance in dev and we don't care about HA. Well, if you don't care about HA, well, then why not just operate in one availability zone to begin with? And then you're going to also save the uh, money on not having the inter zone transfer costs. So long and short of it is use NAT instances, reduce the number of availability zones, and first see if that solves your problems. Mm -hmm.